Hi guys and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a Q&A video and I already tried to film this earlier. Did not go to plan at all so I've got a much better setup right now. So I've done some questions myself just because I've recently done a public Instagram but I don't have that much of a following on there right now. First one I put is how old am I? So I'm 21 years old now and I will be 22 in October which I'm not really feeling my birthday this year just because of everything going on. I know a lot of people have had to have their birthdays recently in lockdown so I mean we also don't know when this lockdown is going to end so hopefully it's over by then but Fingers crossed. Anyway, um, where can I see myself in five years time? So in five years time I think I'll be 26 years old so 26 since I'll be almost in my 30s I think I can definitely see myself hopefully Settling down with the right person, someone that loves me for who I am, and maybe get married, have kids. That's definitely an ambition that you know I want in my life. I mean, not right now anyway, because I'm only 21. But definitely, when I almost get to my thirties, I want to be able to start thinking about that. And, you know, I think that's it really, to be honest. But anyway, um, favourite makeup brands. So, right now, I think I'll definitely say I'm using a lot of Benefit stuff. Um, I'm mainly using foundation from there right now. I still need to order some new bits anyway. Because I'm running out, but I haven't been bothered to order any yet. So that's the me on my to do list pretty soon. But I think another one for me that I use is definitely Morphe. That's just one that I like to use for eyeshadow palettes and lipsticks and things like that because uh, their lipsticks are unreal. I've got one on right now. I think it's up here actually, yeah. This one here, it's called Taunt. Oh, got a hair on it. A couple of tires on it. Get a little hair. And I've got one on my finger. But, yeah, this one that I've got on right now, such a nice new shade. Love it. And £12 as well, which is definitely a bargain. Um, anyway, um, favourite place to shop during lockdown, so I've been doing a lot, you know, ordering online during lockdown since I'm not, you know, going out anywhere. Um, I definitely say my favourite place is Pretty Little Thing right now. This top is from Pretty Little Thing and... I think a half of my wardrobe is literally a pretty little thing. So that's definitely my go to one. But yeah. Um three countries I like to travel to after lockdown. So I think one of them would definitely be America. Maybe not right now, but maybe sometime in the future. Um I definitely say if I had to choose two states in America would definitely be New York and California. They're my favourite. I think just to tour around the cities and things like that. I definitely love a city holiday. I'm not really a beach kind of person anyway. So definitely a city tour, something like that. Definitely my kind of vibe. Um, 
think the second one probably be Spain just because my grandparents live out there so I'll probably go spend some time with them and my third one probably be Switzerland or something like that I love to just go on a road trip maybe hire a car when I can drive that is um, and just go like friends or family and just go on the country roads and things like that I've always wanted to go to Switzerland anyway so that's definitely a dream place for me uh, favourite Instagram accounts um, I have to say Kaya right now um, my sister's Instagram account um, I just love her feed you know she's an influencer and a makeup artist and honestly she's really inspired me a lot this year which I'm really thankful for so I'll give a shout out to her um, another one I don't really think I have another one anyway so I think I'm just going to stick with my sister um, three goals I want to achieve before 2021 um, well one of them is I definitely want to start my new job very soon so I'm not sure when that's going to be just because of this lockdown stuff and I just can't start yet fortunately so that's definitely one of them um, pass my theory and my driving test that is one that I definitely want to do I think if I'm being honest I've probably been really close to also passing my test if you want full lockdown but nothing I can do about that um, third one I think I definitely want to start putting money away you know for like a mortgage and things like that for later on in life and better off start saving my new on anyway so that's something that I want to do so those are my three goals who inspires me the most so I'd probably say my mum and dad even though they're not stay there um, just because they both work from home and I don't think either of them left school with the best grades but you know they've been really successful as well and for me I didn't come out of school with the best grades either but I just want to succeed in life really so and to make me realise that you know it is possible to do what you want to do even though you don't have like the best grades you know don't really matter about that anymore but yeah so they definitely inspire me um sweet or sour sweets um this is just a random one that i thought i'll put down definitely a sweet person don't like sour sweets at all never have and never will three youtubers i watch um i say the first one is the ace family i've been watching them since they were on about four million subscribers so i've been with them pretty much i mean not right from the start but you know halfway there but um yeah watch them a lot um, second one is James Charles. Love his content. I mean, I'm not a makeup artist myself, but I love his videos anyway. Oh, you just don't get ready with me video. Don't get with time talk. He's don't get ready with me video. Is so funny. If you're having a down day, definitely go watch it. 
it's so funny. But my third one that I watch, well, just move my camera. But um, third one, probably say Jeffrey Star as well. I do like to watch a lot of his reviews and it just makes it funny and you know exciting to watch. But yeah, so those are my three YouTubers that I watch pretty much daily. So for my next one, if I had one makeup product to use for the rest of my life, what would it be? So if I'm being really honest, it would probably be eyeliner. Just because I wear it all the time and I literally don't think I can leave it behind. So definitely eyeliner. Um, what did I study at college? Um, so when I was at college, I think it's been about a year now since I left college. I left last year in, I think it was at the end of June last year I left. But I was studying animal care for four years. Although it ran like three levels, but the last year was over two years. So yeah, that's what I did in college. Don't think I'm gonna do anything with animal care right now though. Maybe later on in life. But I'll have to see where that goes. Um if I had to choose between getting my hair done, makeup done, or my nails done for the rest of my life, which one would I choose? I think I would definitely say my hair, mainly because I can talk without not wearing makeup all the time. I mean, especially during lockdown, I've barely been wearing any makeup, sorry. But I feel like my skin's been a lot clearer, a lot more healthier. So, yeah, definitely wouldn't be my makeup. And my nails, I keep wiping my nails anyway, so. No point in that. And plus when I do start work as well, I can't wear nails, so there's no point. So that as well just off my hair. But anywho, um I might seem dull. Well, by law, yes, because I've never been married before. I mean I'm only twenty one so not gonna happen for me anytime soon. But Apart from that, I am in a relationship right now. I've been with my boyfriend for about three years now, surprisingly. But um, yeah, things don't know right now. I mean, we don't know what the future holds for us both. I think we're just gonna let things roll, you know, as we do. But for my last question, where do I see my YouTube channel go? Um, if I'm being honest, on my YouTube channel I just want to be nothing but positive just because, you know, there's just a lot of negative stuff going on right now and um, I can definitely see my channel growing. That's definitely another goal, which I probably should have put down, but anywho. Um, so yeah, I just want to spread nothing but positivity and probably upload more videos too. So, I mean, anyway, that's it for my Q&A. If you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know. Any love and support would be really appreciated and if you want me to film anything else, drop a comment, like this video, subscribe, I mean, you know what to do, so anyway, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!